But now I want us to talk about your book. The title is very, very interesting. Can you see me naked? Because <laughs> another person will be holding the title and be thinking, uh, okay, okay, but let me not get into it. I just want you to explain, uh, uh, tell us a bit about the book. What exactly is the book all about? And the title as well, why the title, Can You See Me Naked? Okay, um, first of all, the title um, has a very special meaning for me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to call it, um, can you see me beautiful? But then I realized it's like a judgment. You know, as a woman to say to a man, can you see me beautiful? He can't say, oh, but you're ugly or oh, you're fat or oh, you, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I thought, well, the most honest thing to say is, can you see me naked? Because if we take all our ideas and all our stories away of who we think we are, and we can just stand there. So think of this naked woman next to a television screen. You know, what do guys do? They look at the television screen and the rugby game. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time they come round and you know the match is finished, then you've already changed your mind. You, mm. You're wanting to do something else. So there's a very vulnerable space in a woman's life when she goes through change and she really needs and, and wants the support of her partner. And if he doesn't know how to show up for her, um, all sorts of things can happen. As a coach, I deal with so many women who tell me what goes on inside of them. And I say to them, you need to tell your partner. And they tell me, but I can't. I want to know if I should leave him. You know, those are the conversations. And, and that's what the book's about, to say to guys, can you see your woman? Can you see her soul naked? Can you see her, see her just for who she is? You know, because they do love their wives, but the women don't see this, they don't interpret this, they're lost in their inside world and they, they're having to deal with pain when they go through midlife crisis and all sorts of things can trigger it and bring it up. So the book has four parts. First of all, it talks about, it introduces um, conscious relationship and, and the, the spiritual foundation, the values that, that we can have. You know, it's a whole different way of looking at relationships, not necessarily the ways um, our parents taught us to play roles Definitely. in a marriage. And that that's the, the beginning and then it goes on and it talks about the dance between the masculine and the feminine and masculine and feminine is not always male and female we all have a little bit of male and you know <laughs> and a little bit of female so it explains about that and then the third part talks specifically about her transformation mm -hmm. but so guys can understand it so it's not clear-cut it it touches on psychology it touches on philosophy and all different frames of reference because everybody has a different way that they look at it mm -hmm. you know and and it talks about physical connection emotional connection I laughed just yesterday somebody said to me oh I bought my friend a book and he said oh that airy fairy book and I, I <laughs> tweeted this morning it's like yeah you guys think that if we you know women talk about emotions it's airy fairy but mm -hmm. that is what so much about what women is about that guys sure. do not understand we go we have two too many emotions. Because how do women express, you know, I really try to find a book when I was going through my, my, my thing. Mm -hmm. And you, you, women dance, we paint, we, we create, um, we creative beings. I couldn't find a book to explain to me what on earth was going on with me. Mm -hmm. So when women read that book, they contact me and like, I couldn't put it down. I cried from the beginning to the end mm -hmm. because they feel validated. Mm -hmm. They feel acknowledged and they, and they feel heard. And that's what I'm trying to say to guys, how to make her feel heard. And she won't leave you because, you know, they, got, they don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand they don't, this world that's true. that we live in. This is a must get for guys out there. Man, go out there and get this book and then you'll have, you will understand as the ladies, you know, and the emotions and everything. This is a very, very interesting book.